They're killers out of desperation. They just discarded him. A child, that's a special type of evil. It could have been the wrong place at the wrong time, or perhaps, if you're a believer, a higher power at play. There's something that's called divine fate, and there's some things that we can't change. Either way, Jabez Spann's short walk down this sidewalk likely changed the course of his life forever. But before we get into all of that, it's important to know the young teen behind the smiling face. He was all boy, all boy. And at just 14 years old, his mother tells us the boy already had some pretty big seen, dreams. Honestly, I think we all thought that he was going to end up going to the NFL because he was just that good. Which is why Tawana Spann knew deep down something was terribly wrong the day Jabez didn't show up for school or practice. So I kind of went into panic mode. <laughs> I think anybody would. The worried mother began asking around, even tracking down one of the last friends to see her son after a Labor Day cookout. So I go and I was like, hey, you know, I know you were with Jabez. Just tell me what he had on or what direction he went in. And he said to me, he was like, I don't have nothing to do with what happened to Jabez. Initially, it came out as a missing persons report. Uh, those cases are uh, assigned to detectives to follow up. But something happened that week in September. Hurricane Irma swept through Sarasota. When a storm like that comes through, it pretty much stops an investigation in its tracks. Where we have all hands on deck for storms. So unfortunately, yeah, those uh, the criminal cases kind of have to take a back seat. But the storm came and went, and still no sign of Jabez. Not until nearly 18 months later, when a worker repairing a fence line a county away discovered the boy's remains right there on the side of the road. Does it ever get easier for a detective to go to a mother and give her that kind of news? Can't, I mean, you can't imagine how, how hard that is to have to give that news. It's just it's horrible. You could just tell. You could tell on their faces. You just know something's missing. It's just not there, like you're not whole anymore. Detectives still won't label it a homicide, but word on the street, or so they say, is Jabez was killed because he witnessed a murder just days before he disappeared. Standing right here on the sidewalk, as a man named Travis Combs was shot and killed a block from Jabez's home. He carried that around with him. And I don't think he thought he was in danger because some of the suspects were pretty close to him. People he knew and could identify. It's a rumor even police are taking seriously as they investigate a possible connection. But there is only so much detectives can do when people from the neighborhood won't speak up. And what an ultimate betrayal, right? Um, from a, a community that, that basically these, these folks were brought up in. Likely fueled by fear, says Tawana. It's a feeling that can easily take over. But not for this mother. She's got a message for whoever killed her baby boy. Some people give in to that despair. It doesn't do me like that. They chose the right mama. Another hand dealt by fate. Unfair and unchanging. Until this case is solved. Kate McVeigh, Spectrum, Bay News 9.